Hello, and welcome to my QTP video tutorial where I will be showing you how to associate a function library with a test. In this video, we'll be covering the following two topics. First, what does it mean to associate a function library with a test? And second, how do you associate a function library with a test? As a reminder, to stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. This now moves us to the first topic, which asks the question, what does it mean to associate a function library with a test? You'll commonly hear the phrase, to associate a function library with a test. Now, what that means is, when a function library is associated with a test, the test is able to use the functions and subprocedures that are in the function library as if the code were in the script itself. This now moves us to the second topic, which asks the question, how do you associate a function library with a test? I'll now flip over to QTP to show you two ways that you can associate a function library with a test. The first way will be using the file settings menu bar path. The second way is I'll show you how to do that using the solution explorer view. Now the first way that I'll show you to associate a function library with a test is by using the menu bar. To begin, Look to the menu bar near the top left corner of your window and locate the file button. Once you find it, click it. Then in the menu that will expand down, locate the settings button. Once you find it, click it. You'll then be presented with the test settings window. Along the left hand side of the window, you'll notice several choices. Locate the resources button, then click it. You'll see that the window will refresh with the resources information. Look a few lines down and locate the text that reads as Associated Function Libraries. Then look immediately to the right of that and you'll see several button options. Locate the button that has a green plus sign on it, then click it. You'll notice that a new line will be created immediately beneath Associated Function Libraries. Look to the far right side of that line you'll find a button that looks like it has three periods on it. Click it. You'll then be presented with the Open Function Library window. Now as you can see on the left side of my window, I have three choices. The first is ALM Resources. The second is ALM Test Plan. And the third is File System. Now I'm seeing the top two buttons as ALM Resources and ALM Test Plan because my QTP instance is currently connected into ALM. However, if you were not currently connected into ALM, you would not see those top two ALM related buttons, and you would only see the file system button. Now, regardless of whether you're looking to associate a function library that's currently stored in ALM or on your base machine, the steps will mostly be the same. They'll only differ in the first step when we get started from here in this window. Now, if you're looking to associate a function library that is in ALM, you would click the ALM Resources button. However, if you were looking to associate a function library that is stored on your base machine, you would click the File System button. So you could go ahead and do that now. Then look near the top part of the window and you'll see the words Look In, and then a drop down immediately to the right of that. You could click the down arrow at the far right side of that drop down box, then navigate through the folder hierarchy on either ALM or your base machine until you found the folder that contained the function library that you were looking to associate. Once you've found that folder that has that function library, you'll see the, all of the function libraries that are in that folder here in the main part of the window. Now once you locate the function that, you look, that you're looking to associate, double click it, You'll then be presented with a window that has the title of Automatic Relative Path Conversion. Once you see that, look near the bottom of the window and find the Yes button. Then click it. Then look down near the bottom right corner of the Test Settings window and find the Apply button. Click it. Then look slightly to the left of that and you'll see an OK button. Once you find it, click it. This now moves us to the second way that we can associate a function library with a test. 
Now you can only do this if you have already associated at least one function library through using the menu bar which I just shown you in the previous example. Now once you have done that look up near the top, top left corner of your window to the menu bar and locate the view button. Once you find it click it then locate the Solution Explorer button. Once you find it, click it. It will then expand the Solution Explorer pane along the left hand side of your window likely. Now you might need to click through a few different plus signs to expand out the, the tree structure, but you're looking for the Function Libraries folder. Once you find that, right click that folder. You'll then see a button that says Associate function library. You can click that button. You'll then notice that you'll see the same window that we had seen uh, in the first example when we used the menu bar. It's the open function library window. You could follow the same exact steps that we had done in the first example to associate other function libraries. I'll just go ahead and click to close this window since we've already shown those steps. This now concludes our video where we've covered the following two topics. First, what does it mean to associate a function library with a test? And second, how do you associate a function library with a test? As a reminder, to stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. Thank you and I hope that you have a great day.